please make sure that you're performing any synthetic or low tests against a website you have control over. I'm using commit quality because this is mine, but please don't use this one because it won't handle the load. Make sure you have authorization for whatever you're testing when you're looking to perform this kind of load and performance testing. Thank you and enjoy the video. This is Jared from Commit Quality. In today's video, we're going to go over our, using artillery with Playwright. Now, this is going to be a mini YouTube series I create where the first video, which is this one, is going to go over what artillery is, what Playwright is, setting up a basic Playwright JavaScript test and then using that for artillery. And then the next video, I'm going to show you how, how we can use our existing Playwright test type script tests as artillery synthetics or load tests. And then for the future videos, I'm going to go over like the metrics and reporting just to give you a bit more of an understanding of how to efficiently use artillery with Playwright. Before we get into all of it, let's just talk about what artillery is and what Playwright is. So artillery is a modern and powerful and very easy to use performance test in toolkit. It's used to ship scalable applications that allows us to have confidence that they stay performant and resilient under high load. Their whole goal is about making sure there's developer productivity and happiness. And they also mention quite a lot about a batteries included approach. And this just means that you can test any system regardless of the protocol it speaks or the tech stack it's based upon. Now, where Playwright comes into this is Playwright is a modern browser automation framework, which we know is created by Microsoft. Uh, if you want more information on Playwright, I'll put a video on the screen now where I go over my introduction to Playwright and all about it and kind of the history of it and the purpose of it. It's a, it's a very modern browser automation framework as discussed. And as you, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you have an understanding of what it is. Now, artillery can be used to run Playwright based scripts, which is why we create in this video and like I said these can be done as either load tests or synthetic tests. Now you might be asking well why would we load test with headless browsers and I could answer this question or I could take you to this great document in the documentation. And it says here, why do you load tests with headless browsers? And like it says here, testing dynamic web apps can be time consuming, it can be slow, it can be brittle, um, compared to what you normally do, which is load testing just pure APIs and backend services. Now, one of the big reasons or the main reason that we test web apps is it requires a different level abstraction where APIs work just at an API endpoint level. Whereas testing with web apps, that's doing it via page and a browser and user flows. It's much more useful abstraction that maps onto how the web app is actually being used. It's not all perfect. There are some limitations. So one limitation is at the moment, you have to write all your test functions in JavaScript. So that means in this, th this is why I've split up this video with the second video, which is going to be showing how you convert your existing TypeScript tests into artillery ones, because it's really easy to set up in JavaScript. And it's really easy to do with TypeScript as well, because all you really need to do is transpile your JavaScript. The only other limitation is only Chrome is currently available, but there's a reason for this, because restricting the integration to just one browser improves startup time performance for large load tests. And that means you don't have any kind of consequential effects on the results of your load tests themselves. Well, that was a lot of talking. Let's actually get into setting up our Playwright and Artillery scripts. So I'm going to say npm init Playwright latest. And all this is going to do is it's going to create a scaffolding project for us. So I'm going to say JavaScript because that's the first one we do in. Click enter on all of these because it can still be the basic. So here we've got our package JSON set up, our node modules, and it'll set up uh, some example tests for us. I'm actually going to delete the examples because we need those. And the other thing I'm going to say is npm install g artillery which is just going to install artillery globally which means we can use it to execute our tests awesome so all that set up we're ready to start writing a playwright test i'll keep these ones in there but i'm actually going to use the code generate tool so i'm going to say mpx playwright code gen hit enter and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my commit quality website and we're going to log into the website. So we're going to load test the, the authentication capabilities on my website. So here I'm going to say commitquality.com. We're then going to go to login. I'm going to say username is test, password is test. 
hit login. And of course, PlayRed have added the new assert visibility feature. So I'm going to say assert the logout button is visible. And that's our test all done. So I can grab that here from the code. I only need the body because I think I can. No, I didn't. I need all of it. I'm going to take this. Let's close this now. All is good. And just copy this test in here. So this is just our login. Now, because we're using Playwright with Artillery, what we need to do is we can't just use all the code in here. Or we could, but then we'd have to repeat all of this inside another function. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to create a new folder and name it commands. And basically, all this command is going to do is the same as this test, but it's not going to it's not going to be inside the actual test declaration itself because artillery doesn't understand what this is. So inside the command, I'm going to say new file and we'll say uh, login.js. Here we're going to want the same const, but of course we won't want test coming through. We just need the expect part, and I'm going to create a function here. So I'm going to say async function. Uh, we'll name it something like test login. I'm going to pass through the page because, of course, we need access to the page. And we're going to take all this code. And actually, we don't need the click, so we'll tie this up there. We don't need the click there. We need that. So we need this code. I'll even take the go to. You don't really need that in there if you want to put it as part of your startup. But we'll we'll keep it all nice and simple in here. So I'll say function, async function. And now we want to export this. So we'll say module.export equals and um, whatever the name of it was so it was test login awesome so all i've done here is create created an action which is exactly the same kind of thing you do with your page object model where you set up your page and then you've got your functions inside which act as the action methods view so here in my example spec for so i'm gonna say uh import test login from commands login and here we can just say await test login with page perfect so if i just run this quickly now and say mpx playwright test let's just make sure the code works as expected oh my project must have three pro i oh, have yeah, example project has three browsers set up but there we are you can see all three paths so that's all looking really good now we get into the artillery phase of things. So the reason we put this login code inside a method is so this code can be reused for artillery. So I'm going to do inside, still inside my test folder, but you can put it whatever you want. I'm going to say new folder and name it artillery because this is where our artillery scripts are going to live. I'm going to have a new file. And once again, this can be called login.js. Here we want to take uh, the import we had, so I can just do const test login equals require, and we want to take it from commands because that's the code we want. So we'll say commands forward slash login. And here we want another function because this is going to be artillery function we want to call. Now, the really good thing about artillery as well is it has access to this pay the page that Playwright has. So the page API that, bit that is used here, it has access to it in, in artillery. So we can say, let's just say uh, artillery script passes through page because it has access to it. And here we can just say await test login and once again, page. And we want to export this so, of course, it can be used when we run the YAML for this. So I'll say module.exports equals uh, artillery script. Tell you what, we can close that off with a semicolon as well. So all we've said here is we're using that exact same logging code for our artillery script. So now then, we've got everything set up. We've got our test, which does the login, which is our functional test. And we also now have our artillery script, which is doing the login, which is the exact same thing, using the exact same code. But using this, we're able to get the metrics for our load test. So to do this, at the top level, I'm going to say a new file. And you can name this for everyone, but I'm just going to call it artillery.yaml. And inside here is the config of what we want to execute. So basically, we want to call this login script. So I can say config. And remember, this is all YAML as well. So it needs to be really, it needs to be correct in the indentation. First of all, we're going to put the target because this is what's going to be read. 
everything that comes with its target endpoint. So I'll say HTTP commit quality dot com. We then want to see use the Playwright engine. So we can say engines Playwright. At the moment, I'm just going to leave that as an empty object, but we'll touch on what we can add into this later on. But there's things you can do, like uh, one of the most basic things is you can turn it into a headed browser instead of headless. So I'll show you that running. Um, we then want to pass the path to our JavaScript file, and that's what defines the Playwright test functions. So this is going to be our artillery file. So here we want to say processor, and it would be I believe dot slash tests and then we've got the artillery folder and then we've got login oh, then we've got login dot js and then we have to say what scenarios we want to run so this is why i added my own artillery js i could have added all into here but if i end up deciding there's extra things i want to add into the artillery scripts i could do it in here without having to add everything else into this command so if there's artillery specific things, just do it in here, which is why I like them as separate files. But I'm going to say scenarios, which is the colon, and we want to say engine, which we know is playwright, and the test function we want to run. So that will be test function, and that will be whatever the name of the method was here, or the name of the function was here. So that will be artillery script. Perfect. So we now have everything set up. We have our test, which we know is working. We have our commands file, which could basically be a page object model, whatever you want. And then we also have our artillery file, which is basically the same as this right now. But of course, if this ever wanted to expand, you want to separate them out, which is why I've done it, just for best practice. So now let's try and run it. We say artillery. I, I believe we installed artillery. Yep, npm install g install hyphen g artillery. So if you've done that, all we need to say then is artillery run, and we need to have the name of the file. So in our case, it's artillery.yaml. So whatever you named this YAML file is what you want to run. If I hit enter on this, oh, it's saying we can't find it. Ah, oh, that's because for some reason it's taken artillery as the wrong name. It should be double L. Oh, okay, we have an error inside our YAML file. So let's have a look what I've done wrong here. Oh, of course, that's because scenarios, I said about the indentation, needs to be on the same level as this, so these, as configs, this moves back to here. I believe that should all be good. This is the problem when you're writing things out from scratch. But what you've got here now, then, we've got a test runner started, unnamed phases. I'm not going to touch on phases in this video. That's going to be a completely separate video, but phases are really important to know. So by default, all we've done at the moment is created one V user, which is not really much of a load test, but it's output a bunch of information for us here which once again, we're gonna get onto the metrics in a future video as well. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, well, this is headless. So how do I know anything is actually run or loaded? Well, I said about this playwright object where you can add things. And one of the things you can add is a launch option. So what I can say is here where you've got playwright, I can say launch options. And we can say headless is set to false. And now what this means is we should see that the browser opens. It'll be very quick, of course. But we should see the browser opens and you can see something happening. Now it was very quick and it popped up on another screen, but if you're following along with what I'm doing, you'll see that it loaded up. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna remove the launch options here and I'm gonna set this back to uh, be an empty object because I want it to run browserless. Now, interestingly, I was expecting different metrics, and I've just pointed out an issue that I've had with Target, which I'm really glad happened because we should be seeing like um, the first contentful load, the first contentful paint um, load times and everything else. And the reason why is because of the Target here. Because we hit in HTTPS, basically what Artillery does is it only displays the web vital metrics for the URL that starts with this Target URL. But because we are hitting HTTPS commit quality, it wasn't outputting everything. So maybe I shouldn't have cleared it. I'm really glad I fell into this trap and I made a little typo here because you might be thinking, well, there's not many metrics being output here where you've just got browser requests for users. We should see, see, be seeing a bunch more. And that's because... Silly, I missed out the secure on the HTTPS. And 
Now, when we run it, what I should see is a bunch more metrics about like the first contentful paint and all the others and all the others that we'll touch on. So here we go. We've got it goes to commitquality.com at the start, goes to commitquality.com, gives us the FCP, the FID, LCP, all these, which if these don't make sense right now, don't worry, because in this series, it is all going to be discussed and we'll we'll talk about what they are. But you can see it goes to commitquality.com. It goes to the login page here and then it goes back of course because that's where we do our assertion and so that's just tested the full process using using playwright code and hardly anything really to do with artillery all we had to do was add in this extra javascript function this javascript file and the function which at the moment is actually the basically the same as this but like i said they probably would differ in a large application so that's why i put them different and the artillery config file and that's just showing you how you execute the script so you could have multiple of these scripts you could change the function you could change the process and run whatever you want we've just basically done like a synthetics test on our login functionality now like i said in the future videos we're going to break down the metrics we're going to break down recording we're going to give you a bit more information of what other parameters you can use inside your artillery script at the moment, we've only only really touched on this page API, this page API that we've brought through. Um, the next video is going to be about converting your TypeScript tests to be used with Artillery. But as always, any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled Super Thanks. So if you do want to help contribute to these videos and you find them useful, you can you can donate using that. As always, thank you for watching and have a good day.